Hey Cheryl, happy new year to you. The downtown school that graduates the most people of all of Chicago's universities remaining a bit of an obscure institution these days. And some say it's because of the architecture and the 60s era layout. Well, the school wants to change all that with a billion dollar plan that will remake UIC over the next decade based on making it a place where students can get ahead and want to hang around. If you drive around, if you drive from Harrison and Halsted, all that you see are walls. Chancellor Michael Amaritas offers a perspective on the 104 acre campus from his penthouse office. And within a three to four year period, all of this area will be redone. With a slick video and an earnestness that belies the traditional stuffiness of academia, the former industrial engineer says UIC has to open up to the city more. This is the fastest growing university in the state of Illinois for the last five to 10 years. Uh, the students are coming here in large numbers, they're voting with their feet, and they demand to have the right type of facilities. That includes more green space, world-class academic facilities such as a new cancer institute, and a skating rink financed through public-private partnerships, bonds and private money. There's even a new performing arts center envisioned for the shoulder of the Jane Byrne interchange. This institution has a legacy of being accessible to the low income, students to a very diverse environment to first generation immigrants. Amaritas knows some of the history is not so good. UIC's 1965 construction displaced 8,000 residents and over 600 businesses from the Little Italy and Greek town neighborhoods according to news reports at the time. And I think that that was the payback, if you wish, from the university to these communities. And as the Greek engineer peers to the parking lots in the West that will give way to structures that don't mirror the brutalism style of UIC architect Walter Netsch, students down below have ideas as well. You got to think of UIC due to the location, it's a lot of commuter students. So how can we build an incentive for them to stay here and also for students who want to apply here to be here? Well, there are a lot of facilities here around school. Not everybody takes advantage of them because they don't know what they do. They're not like as broadly advertised around here. Well, the school has 32,000 students and it graduates more doctors from its medical program than any school in the United States. And so now the trick here is for them to try to break down these walls of brutalism uh -huh. and show people on the outside what's going on on the inside and let these prospective students really know that they're right in the heart of Chicago. They're studying here, they're living here in the heart of America's greatest city. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.